open those brand new doors we just learned about at the front of your house. What do you see? Maybe leaves all over your yard. You said that you saw that. Yes. Maybe dead grass, but some lucky for too. you, we do have someone who can help us. We sure do. Yeah, fall is the time of raking leaves and saying goodbye to your flowers, but Tomlinson Baumberger can help make your landscape stay in tip top shape. And Jay Worth is back now with us to share some tips and advice for taking care of your lawn during the fall season. Jay, thanks for coming. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. It is good to see you. So let's just start off by giving folks a little bit of background about Tomlinson Baumberger and what you can offer customers. Uh, so Tomlinson Baumberger, if you're closer to our Lancaster office, uh, offers us just about everything you need for the outside of the home. Um, lawn care, landscaping, pest control, leaf cleanups, fall plantings, you name it. Um, out of our Harrisburg location, we're able to do lawn care, um, keeping the weeds out of your flower beds, which is a big deal for a lot of people, treating your trees and shrubs and pest control out of that office as well. Very good. All important stuff, but you know, it's fall, so some lawns have died, but some are still mm -hmm. hanging on and, mm -hmm. and we, you know, we've got some rain in the forecast. What do people need to know about taking care of their lawns from fertilization to mm -hmm. aeration, things like that? Well, fall is a great time uh, to work on the lawn, okay? Uh, aeration is a really important part of maintaining the health of the lawn. It's a little bit like changing the oil in your car. It's not the, the most uh, um, visible or, or sexiest thing, but yeah. it's a really important part of keeping things moving. Clay soils tend to kind of bind together really tightly, and the root system in your lawn can't actually push through that. And so aerating the lawn allows the soil to soften up so the roots can spread properly. Okay. But you do that in the fall and it's going to help you like next spring too? Absolutely. A yeah. lot of times you pair that with seeding because you've already opened up the soil. There's going to, you're going to ensure seed to soil contact. So it's a great time to introduce a hardy variety of turf as well. And I, I've not done that, but I mm -hmm. do put down fertilizer in the mm -hmm. fall and that's supposed to help as well. Absolutely. Right? That's kind of, uh, we call it putting it to sleep for the winter. Yeah. You put down a fertilizer that helps encourage some of that green up and that new quick growth in the spring. Mm. Uh, and that really is a, is a great idea for your lawn moving forward. Okay, also we have we have shrubs and, and our mm -hmm. flower beds, which we'd be doing in the fall because I typically just, you know, let them do their thing. Yeah, right? yeah. But there's stuff I should do before the freeze comes. Absolutely. If you're not sure, you should always consult oh, with a professional too. landscaper and see uh, which plants you should trim back. So things like this Nandina here are going to give you a great fall color. It's pretty low maintenance. It's not something you have to worry about really getting sick or bugs a whole lot. Um, but this should be trimmed back in the fall after uh, some of that color starts to go away, some of those leaves start to fall. Um, but cleaning up your beds is really important. If you've got a plant that's diseased or sick, um, cleaning up some of that leaf litter and the twigs and stuff like that out of the beds helps prevent disease problems from being so bad on some of your landscape that maybe isn't as hardy moving into the next season. Well, yeah, no, but I was laughing because you said, let's let them do their thing. And for you and me, that's typically die. Well, but but this well, is this yeah, is this is good how, information. We help. The last time you heard you talked a lot about the spotted lantern fly. Is yeah. that still a problem? And I just saw a report like there, there's dark patches showing up on trees and things that are mm -hmm. actually the eggs of these mm -hmm. spotted lantern oh. flies. So how can you protect things, your plants against that? Well, right now, what you should be doing, uh, and probably for the next few weeks, uh, as plants are being, uh, trees are taking up material, is doing what's called a systemic treatment, something that's going to not affect anything else, but it's going to stay inside the tree. And as the spotted lantern flies feed on those trees, yeah. that's going to, uh, they're going to ingest that material and it'll die. That'll prevent them from continuing to populate and mate. Um, after that, really, all you have is the option of is a contact treatment. So you got to treat the tree itself, um, just knock down as many as adults as you can so that hopefully they're not laying those eggs. And if you do see those egg masses, um, you can always um, scrape those off into a Ziploc baggie with some rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer. That's what the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture and Penn State recommend as control for the egg masses. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these guys know their stuff. They so do. where do. tell us where you're located and how we can reach you. Uh, we have an office right here in Harrisburg on uh, South 33rd Street. We have an office in Lancaster uh, right near the Kellogg's plant off of 283. Um, you can call us at 399-1991 uh, if you're closer to Lancaster, 234-3820 if you're closer to Harrisburg, or always reach us at mytombomb.com. I love Perfect. my Tom bomb. That's so fun to yeah. say. Okay, thank you so much, Jay. Good thank to you have so much you. for having me. Up next, we're going to talk about just getting a whole new home, either buying, buying one or selling yours. That's next.